معاكم مصبح المسماري الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة ملاحة للطائرات المسيرة Your host مصبح المسماري the CEO of ملاحة Drones in the UAE This is the first of a series of webinars we will be conducting with our partners about drones and drone technologies هذه طبعا بتكون اول الندوات اللي سنقيمها عن تقنيه الطائرات بدون طيار وتكون عندنا سلسله ان شاء الله في المستقبل من من هذه الندوات مع شركائنا نتكلم عن 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 صناعه الدرون وتقنيه الدرون والاشياء اللي تخص الاشياء الجديده في مجال الدرون. As we know UAV unmanned aerial vehicles or drones it's a disruptive technology which means it will change the way we do business not only in the technology uh, sector but also in the medical sector in the education sector the oil and gas energy public safety space Drones will be there, and it will change the way we do business right now. تقنية ال 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 الطائرات بدون طيار أو أو الدرونز هي تقنية بال بال بالمص بالترجمة العربية ترجمة مخربة ولكنها بالمعنى الإيجابي يعني راح تؤثر على طريقة عملنا وتغير طريقة عملنا والمفاهيم اللي نعرفها الآن. في في طريقة أداء إدارة عملنا في جميع القطاعات ليس في قطاع تقنية فقط ولكن في قطاع البترول وقطاع الطاقة وكذلك في جميع القطاعات اللي نحن نعرفها كالقطاع الشرطي والطبي والتعليمي وما شابه ذلك ولذلك it's very important therefore it's very important that we adopt this technology from now and try to embrace it and try to understand it in a way that we will be able to utilize this technology uh, in the future. And لهذا السبب لابد أن نحن نتعلم على هذه التقنية نتعرف عليها من اليوم لأنها راح تكون مؤثرة في حياتنا خلال الفترة الخمس إلى العشر سنوات القادمة وبالتالي كل ما نحن تعلمناها من الآن كل ما كان لنا سبق في استخدام هذه التقنية بطريقة صحيحة ملاحة درونز شركة ملاحة للطائرات المسيرة أسست مركز للتدريب هو الأول والوحيد على مستوى دولة الإمارات المعتمد والمعترف فيه من الهيئة العامة للطيران المدني لتدريب الطيارين بدون طيار أو مشغلي طيارات المسيرة بطريقة احترافية ويحصل المتدرب على شهادة قيادة رخصة قيادة مثل ما تحصل على رخصة قيادة سيارات تحصل على رخصة قيادة درون معترف فيها من الهيئة العامة للطيران المدني نحن الوحيدين ملاحة درونز هاف استابلشت ان سيت اب ا تريننج سنتر ويتش هاز بين ريكوجنايزد باي جي سي اي اي ويتش از الجنرال اثورتي فور سيفل افيشن ذا يو اي اتس ذا اونلي وان and the first in the country and it's in the region. Our aim is to bring this technology in the right way. And we are certified to train, examine uh, drone operators and provide them certificates that is recognized by the GCC and we are the only one in, in, in the country and in the region. Uh, why we started this? Because we know and we believe strongly with all with our partners that education is the key to understanding new technologies and not any type of education education that is based on principles based on methodologies proven methodologies based on standards and conducted by people who have the experience and the expertise in this field نحن نؤمن في 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 ملاحه للطائرات المسيره بان التعليم هو اساس استخدام اي تكنولوجيا جديده وبدون التعليم ما نقدر نستخدم التكنولوجيا 
جريده بل نسيء استخدام التكنولوجيا بطريقه يعني خاطئه اذا ما تعلمناها بالطريقه الصحيحه. التعليم اللي احنا نؤديه هو مبني على اسس علميه وعلى منهجيات علميه وعلى مقاييس عالميه. وكذلك هذا التدريب يؤدى من قبل ناس محترفه في مجال الطيران وفي مجال طائرات بدون طيار. Uh, I would like to uh, thank everybody who have actually joined us and who will join us uh, in, in the next um, uh, uh, 30 minutes or so. Uh, I will uh, leave the floor now to uh, Mr. Uh, Eugene uh, Mohin. He is um, the operation manager in Flyright uh, Economy um, Academy. He, uh, and Flyright Academy is our uh, our uh, partner when it comes to education. Uh, he will uh, have a, uh, a small presentation, then a small movie, and then we will open will open the floor uh, for uh, you uh, uh, to uh, ask any questions or if you would like to register. We have we, we will be starting uh, our training with the first batch uh, next week, the 28th of uh, February, and we will be having other batches uh, uh, as we move forward. For the first three batches, we are given actually a discount, a very, very tempting discount for uh, whoever register uh, and attend the courses in the, in the next three batches. Uh, after the third uh, batch, we will, um, uh, our, our fees will increase uh, and it will be the normal uh, fees. So please, if you are interested, uh, please uh, register during the, the, the webinar or after the webinar, and uh, Milaha team will be happy to uh, assist you in, in, in that. Uh, Mr. Eugene, uh, the, the floor is yours, and uh, welcome to the webinar. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mosaba. Um, first of all, I would like to say hello to everybody, um, and you're very welcomed uh, to this webinar. Um, Mosaba has explained uh, some of the processes already um, and what I'm going to do is bring a, a short presentation uh, and give you some information um, on who we are, the partnership that we have formed and the course that we hope to deliver and why we think that um, it's really important that people uh, learn about uh, drones and, and why they should train. Okay, so what I will do next is uh, I will share my screen and uh, you'll be able to see the, the presentation. Okay, if there are any problems or anybody has any issues, uh, you can use the chat function on the Zoom to uh, ask any questions that you may have, uh, and we can keep those until the end, where Musaba and myself and the team would be happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, so we are going to look at who we are. We'll have a look at Maliha and Flyride and the partnership the training course that we have developed and worked together to uh, create. And then we'll have a short uh, video demonstration at the end to show you some of the capabilities that drones can deliver to your organization or to your profession. When we think of aviation, it's not that long ago that the first flight took place. Um, and between the first flight that took place to the first person walking on the moon, it is only 66 years. So in terms of history of aviation, we are very uh, new to aviation uh, and it's a, a relatively short period of time. When we look at drones and how old drones are, well, they're still very new. And only in the last few years, uh, drones have um, entered into uh, general society. So we are at the start of this journey when it comes to drones and um, we can see that drones are already rapidly developing um, in terms of the technology, the training, and the infrastructure that's in place for drones across the world. Looking at the past and what drones 
uh, used to look like, they were very basic. A basic drone with a very basic camera attached to the drone with no gimbal technology or no uh, technology to stabilize the camera on a drone. When we look now at what we have, um, and just using the DJI Phantom as an example, you can see that over the years, this has progressed and we now have more state-of-the-art uh, type drones with really good cameras, really good technology, and very reliable um, type of uh, equipment. So you may ask, are there rules, are there regulations, and where do they come from? Well, in aviation, and drones are now part of aviation, we have an international civil aviation organization that looks at aviation rules all over the world and comes together to have a standard set of rules and regulations. They would feed into, uh, as Mosaba said, the General Civil Aviation Authority or the GCAA, um, who will then feed those rules down to you as the operator uh, on the ground flying your drone. So where do we come into this? Well, at Maliha Drones and Flyright Drone Academy, we are the training establishment or the training academy that can um, teach you and make you aware of all the rules and regulations and train you to the best international standards. DJI have rapidly developed uh, their technology and DJI is probably the most common type of drone manufacturer that's out there. It's a bit like Apple iPhones. Apple is very common. Uh, and when we talk about drones, DJI is a very common and probably the most popular type of drone. Other brands such as Unique and Sensefly are also uh, out on the market. But you can see when we talk about drones, we talk about um, small drones, multi-rotor drones, fixed wing airplane type drones, or even helicopter type drones. There are many different types of drones on the market. So, in terms of Flyright, we are based in Ireland, in Europe, and we have been at the front of the drone industry in Ireland. And in recent times, we have um, become an international comp company in that we have trained in various European countries, and we have um, gained a lot of experience from that. So some of the things that we were able to do was to roll out the first drone registration uh, module um, back in 2015. We were also able to uh, complete drone delivery flights in Ireland. And again, this was the first time that this was completed in Ireland using the rules and regulations um, in order to do that, which is very important uh, in order to conduct a drone operation safely. We also have completed some software that would help for search and rescue. And we've flown the largest drone in Ireland, which was up on 55 kilograms. Um, and if you notice that the dates of these are all relatively recent as the drone industry is very new at the moment. You can see the symbols are uh, crests of some of the training organizations that we have trained with. So the likes of the fire brigade, the police, search and rescue, uh, some uh, of the defense forces and military, and also some TV uh, producers, filmmakers, and um, photographers, just to name a few of the companies that we have trained. So we have formed um, Maliha, uh, Mr. Musaba has um, worked tirelessly to form this strong partnership with us at Flyright Drone Academy. And we are delighted uh, to be part of Maliha Drones, which we believe are um, a, a great organization and a great training academy. And we are delighted to be partnership uh, and to be partners of Maliha. Mr. Uh, Mosaba has, and his team have um, completed lots of work in this area and liaised extensively with the GCA in order to provide some of the best training uh, that uh, we can provide to the best international standards. You may ask, when is the right time to train? Well, we believe that it's 
a way up between risk and reward. And we believe that the reward is to train uh, now before you buy drones and you fly um, without any training, that may introduce some risk into the scenarios. And when we say risk, we mean the likes of an accident with your drone um, or hitting somebody with a drone or flying in airspace or an area that you're not meant to fly and subsequently ending up in some trouble um, with the law. So we believe that the reward is to train early um, and understand the rules and regulations. So you may ask, well, there's lots of different pieces and we, we kind of demonstrate this with a jigsaw. Well, where do we start with the jigsaw? And some people, uh, or this puzzle, some people may say, where do I start with my drone training? Well, the good answer is you've started already by joining us on this webinar, as we will show you and introduce you to some of the rules, some of the regulations and the courses that we provide. And the first thing we say to people is that they have a vision and that vision is to bring drones into their organization. Um, we will help them with the framework to establish that. And we will also then lead them to successfully implement drones in their organization or in their profession. We look at this in two different ways. We look at the leaning tower of Pisa that looks like it may fall over. And then we look at a pyramid, how it's strong and stable. What we recommend to people is that they train early uh, in order to provide themselves that stable base, such as a pyramid, which is a strong foundation uh, in their training and their drone profession. If we buy lots of drones very quickly, uh, and do not train, we are a bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, where we may uh, introduce some risk into the organization. So we believe that training uh, and understanding rules, regulations, and uh, how to operate safely is very important for your drone operation. Why get drones? Well, over the years, we've seen many reasons to bring drones into your organization. Uh, and that may be because uh, it if you are uh, somebody who operates at um, high, uh, high areas or close to the coast or in a dangerous location, sometimes you can use now a drone in place of a person and that will help to reduce the risk of a person uh, in a high location or in an area that's not suitable for people to, uh, to operate in. It also increases the operation capability. So what we mean is that if you're a filmmaker or a photographer, you now have a new skill and a new, um, a new area where you can expand your operations. It also saves time and costs. If you're in construction, for example, and you're trying to survey a large area, well, a drone can do that relatively quickly and it will save you a lot of time and it will save some costs also. And you're also innovating by using drones uh, and the rapidly evolving technology associated with drones, you're innovating your business, you're innovating your, um, your organization, but you're also, as we said, saving time and costs. Uh, and there's many, many different reasons why drones would save time and costs. And we've seen that through numerous organizations that we've trained. We'll have a quick look at hardware, software, and then the training that um, we, we provide. Hardware is the likes of DJI drones that have many different types and models out in the market. And Mosaba and his team will be delighted to go through some of those in detail. But we have what we call multi-rotors, fixed wing, helicopters, airplane type drones. Software then is the app or the application behind the drone, what we use to actually fly the drone. And this is an example of a DJI software for the um, a drone. And you can see from this that you get lots of information. You get a good picture from the camera. You can also get your map location and you can also get the number of GPS satellites, the strength of the signal, your distance, your height, etc. And all of this is uh, all comes with uh, a DJI drone. 
the live wire. This is important because this is you, the person, the person and the training that's required. So there are rules and regulations out there and the GCA has worked quite hard uh, to develop these rules and regulations and they are recently updated uh, as of last year. When we look at the laws and the regulations, there are numbers of a number of areas uh, in the UE where the airspace or the, um, the areas for us are either no fly zone or a fly zone prohibited area or restricted zone. And they have developed an app uh, which allows people um, to gain some of that information. For example, you must keep a safe distance from people, houses, structures, cars, and also crowds of people. And that is something that we would train you how to do on the course. You must keep below 400 feet. And the reasons for this is because manned aviation, where we have maybe helicopters or airplanes, they can go to 500 feet. So that creates a safe buffer between drones, which are unmanned, and manned aviation, such as uh, airplanes. So what are the subjects that we train? The syllabus of training that we have um, created has numerous different subjects. Principles of drone flight, meteorology, which is the weather, technical systems, rules and regulations, emergency procedures, air traffic control procedures, risk management, payload installation and utilization, and image and video interpretation. And all of this approved by the GCAA, the General Civil Aviation Authority. This um, Mossada has worked tirelessly to get this syllabus approved with the GCAA. We will help you with some of the administration that is required, um, such as manuals, uh, training logs, uh, and some of the things that you need to consider when setting up a drone operation. So you may ask, what will the ground school or the lectures look like? We have state-of-the-art software, um, and this just shows an example where the lessons um, will be played on uh, an online function and you will be able to work through this on your own, in your own time, while if you have any questions, you can also ask us um, anything you like, and we will get back to you on that. So just to recap, this will be an online platform with software. You click through your lessons, and then the second method is, is similar to what we're doing now. It will be a virtual type lecture. And the timetable we will send you on uh, so you have a good idea of what the training involves. With that, we will have practical training, um, which includes simulator training and also the practical training at the Maliha facility uh, in Fujira. Um, we will also have uh, an examiner that will uh, check that you have completed the lectures and also check that your flying is up to a safe standard. Do not worry though, because we will take you step by step through the practical training, which is very uh, straightforward and very easy to learn with our instructors. We understand that people will need time to gain experience, but, but we are, are there to support and help you through this process with any questions that you may have, um, we would be happy to help. So again, once we get the structure in place in terms of our training, our manuals, our risk assessment procedures, and we understand what we need to do to fly a drone safely and correctly, we have a strong foundation that leads us to being able to have good, safe drone operations in our organization. I will now play a short video that will last about three minutes. And this video shows a search and rescue team that we trained in Ireland uh, a number of years ago. So it's just to give you an example 
of what a drone can do for you and for your organization. And we are simulating searching for a missing person in the vicinity of cliffs on the west coast of Ireland. As you can see that from that video, that the drone can give you a nice um, perspective on the area that you may have to search. And if you had to find someone, uh, if you had to put a team of search and rescue personnel into that area, that would be quite difficult. But you can see in this example, we were able to put the drone in very easily, which meant that we were able to search this area uh, very um, quickly and um, we also reduced risk to people um, and we also saved time which may save lives um, and if it was in the construction industry it would save time and save money for example so there's lots of reasons um, why drones can help uh, an organization or a profession. Thank you for uh, listening to me I'll now stop uh, sharing my screen and uh, allow Mosaba um to uh, answer any questions or carry out any translations that may be required. Thank you. This thank one you, uh, Eugene. Yes, uh, thank you for uh, the presentation and for the information. Uh, if anybody has a question, if uh, one of the brothers or sisters has any question, either about Milaha, or Flyright, or about the company itself, or about the drones in general, نحن جاهزين يعني نفتح المجال لمدة خمسة عشر دقائق للموضوع هذا واللي كذلك حاب يشارك معنا في في الدورة الحالية اللي هي بتعقد الأسبوع القادم يوم الأحد 28 
فبراير او او في الدورات اللي جايه آه نحن كذلك يشرفنا هذا الامر. اي 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 وود لايك تو ثانك مستر يوجين فور ذا برزنتيشن اند اولسو وي اوبن ذا فلور اف اني بدي هاف اني كويشن ريجاردنج ملاحه درونز اوبريشنز فلاي رايت ذا بارتنرشيب وي هاف اور questions about the drone technology in, in general will be more than happy uh, to, to um, attend uh, these questions uh, uh, as much as we can. We also um, in, invite you, uh, whoever have not registered uh, in, in our courses to, um, to register for this batch, which will start on the 28th of February or on the next uh, batches, which will be uh, starting uh, 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 also, um, you know, uh, after after this batch, and we we will be happy to 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 um, give you more information about about the course and 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 the certificate. As we mentioned, also, uh, the course is is certified, which means you get a certificate, uh, a driving certificate, just like your driver license. You get a certificate that is issued by Milaha, approved by GCAA because we are uh, an approved training uh, organization. Uh, so, which means you, you have a license to operate drones. So, you, you know, it's, it's, it, it puts you in a different league than anybody else who is just using drone for, you know, whether for the fun of it or even as a professional. So, uh, please, the floor is open. We have five to 10 minutes, if you have any questions. ولا نختم الموضوع اوكي اوكي ويل اور تليفونز اي ثينك ذير اور ملاح از اون ذا ويب سايت اون 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 اور اكاونتس اون ذا سوشيال ميديا سو بليز دونت هيزيتيت تو كونتاكت اس اور اور بارتنرز اند وي ويل بي مور ذان هابي تو تو سيت ويز يو اند توك تو يو اند ديسكاس ثينكس ويز يو For the students who have, have registered, uh, good luck. And we will see you next week. Uh, uh, and we will be providing you within the next couple of days with all the material that you need and assistance and how uh, to go about uh, uh, the course uh, during uh, the course period. Uh, thank you, everybody, for attending. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you, Eugene, for uh, presentation. and uh, have a nice uh, evening everybody thank you thank you thank you, thank you everyone thank you very much you're welcome you're welcome